I'm going to guess that you probably know now is a good time to sell in Weston, but if one of my family members asked me how to compete in this market, I'd say, you know what, it depends. Let's take a look at what's going on so you can make the best decision for you and your family. Hi, my name is Charlie Vinci. I'm a Weston realtor and my team and I specialize in helping people relocate to the area. For buyers, I'm going to show you how to compete in this crazy market, but first, a little background on the market is necessary. As I'm sure you've heard and probably witnessed for yourself, inventory is historically low. Last year, Weston had a spectacular year with 255 sales and an increase in the median price of 34%. That's right, 34% compared to 2020. There is currently only two months of supply on the market, but the good news is that you should expect that number to increase in the coming months and new listings to peak in May of 2022. In Weston, these buyers come from locals who are typically trading up and people relocating from both New York City and afar. Many of our New York City clients have concerns about increasing crime rates, and I expect this concern to continue to bring more New Yorkers to Connecticut. Increasingly, I've also heard similar concerns from our West Coast clients, so be aware that the influx is coming from more than just New Yorkers. Add to this that there'll be more than 70 million millennials entering the home buying age by the end of the decade. That's more than 20% of our population, many of which will be moving out of their apartments in the city and into their first home. In other parts of the country, they'll be able to build their way out of the supply side challenges that we are currently experiencing here in Weston. But land here is expensive relative to many parts of the US, which may create a real challenge to increasing the supply of homes. Between the exodus from major cities, the millennial population, and the limited amount of affordable land to build on, you should expect demand in Weston to be strong for the foreseeable future. Inflation is also a key factor. Historically, there is a strong correlation between an increase in inflation and an increase in home prices. When money is depreciating in your bank account and assets are appreciating, wealthy people do the smart thing with their money and put it into assets like real estate. There's no doubt that this is having a real effect on our higher priced housing. One thing that may cool the market are higher mortgage rates. However, most predictions still have rates forecasted to be lower than pre-pandemic levels by the end of 2022. An increase in mortgage rates may slow things down a bit, but I doubt it's gonna have a major effect because demand is so strong and supply will be limited. Nearly every day, a buyer asks me how to compete in this market because buyers are facing fierce competition on new listings. Expect attractive properties to garner multiple offers, with the winner often being a cash offer that's elected to forego an appraisal contingency and possibly an inspection contingency as well. If you are planning to finance the property, fear not. I will tell you how to compete with cash offers in a minute, but first, we'll need to review all of your options. When some of my clients have found new listings to be too competitive, we recommend that they aggressively pursue listings that have been on the market for more than 30 days as well as properties that come back on the market after deals fall apart. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Despite the belief that these properties represent poor opportunities, a savvy agent can often get you a fair deal. If you're in the higher price brackets, say over about one and a half million in Weston, an aggressive agent may find you a property that is not marketed on the web. We are constantly pursuing these types of opportunities and we keep an extensive list on hand for our clients. You probably already know that we have experience in other towns like Wilton and Westport, so go ahead and check them out to see if they're a fit because they may be a way to expand your options. No matter how you find your home, in order to lock up a deal, successful buyers are moving quickly to get their lawyer to draw up the contract, often within a week, which is lightning speed in the world of real estate. If you have cash, it no longer earns you a discount. What it will do is improve your odds of winning in a multiple offer situation, so long as you are aggressive with your price and your terms. With the market moving as quickly as it is, what seems like a premium today tends to look like a good deal in a few months. But what if you don't have an all cash offer and you plan to finance? The good news is that you can still be competitive against cash offers. I have a few ideas for you. Some of my clients have borrowed the money from their stocks, retirement plan, or a relative, but with the intention to refinance the property later and of course return the money. Another option may be a hard money loan. Hard money is easy to get if you have a decent down payment, say around 30%, with the drawback being that it's expensive. 
but it could be worth it if it secures your dream home and beats out the competition. Again, the idea would be to refinance after closing. If neither of these options work, have your mortgage broker fully underwrite you. This means that you are approved for the loan and that all you need to do is plug in a home into the deal. The benefit being that this will allow you to act more like a cash buyer. It's not easy to find a broker who'll do this, so feel free to reach out to my office and we'll give you a recommendation. When you're thinking about buying or selling in Weston, I'd like to work with you. If you aren't ready yet, head over to my website for a detailed Weston market data report that's updated on the first of every month and grab our Weston buyer's guide, which we've created for you. It will save you countless hours of research and help you make a better decision for your family.